Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin and uh, welcome to my tutorial video for Snowflake Creator. Uh, Snowflake Creator is an add-on for Adobe Illustrator uh, and it's for making some intricate line illustrations that are ideal for coloring books, greeting cards, and tattoos. Uh, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a snowflake just like this one. Uh, and to get started, the first thing you do is download that folder and then unzip it. Inside that folder you'll find three different files. Uh, the first one is an Illustrator template. Uh, the second one here is the action scripts and the third one is the readme text file uh, and that'll have a little bit of information about this add-on along with links to this video the demo video uh, as well as my email address just in case you have any questions or comments so to get started we need to open the illustrator template and we can do that by just dragging it into illustrator and uh, when it opens up it'll look just like this uh, the next thing we need is the brushes and they're already built into this template uh, but you can open the brush panel by going to window and then brushes and uh, here are all 70 pattern brushes and I've kinda organized them with simple ones in the beginning uh, and more complicated ones here at the bottom these patterns work with the action scripts to create the snowflake pattern uh, so we need to load the actions and we can do that by going to window actions uh, and if you see any actions here by default I recommend you clear those so we'll go up to the menu here and then clear actions and we'll do yes and then we'll do load actions and uh, just go back to that folder you unzipped and uh, Illustrator will ignore all other file types it'll only let you see the uh, action script file so here it is snowflake creator toolkit and we'll double click that to open it up and uh, it should look like this with these color coded buttons if it doesn't you gotta make sure button modes enabled so if you if you open it up and it looks just like this uh, make sure this button mode here is checked. So to get started with our snowflake, we'll run this first script here. Uh, and when you click that, it'll just generate a little center here. Uh, and then while that's selected, you can choose any of these pattern brushes, and it'll change the design on that center. So this is why I've color-coded them. So I made these C ones with the center in mind. Uh, and then these simpler ones are just for sort of towards the outside, and then medium, more further towards the outside. Uh, and then these X ones, these really complicated ones, are designed for using at the very edge. But you can use any of these patterns at any point in the snowflake. Uh, it's totally up to you. So for the center, I think I'll choose maybe this one. Uh, and then to add, to do the next step, uh, you'll just duplicate selected ring. And this is basically the process for building the snowflake. So while this is selected, I can do duplicate selected ring. And it'll make a copy of it. It's a little bit bigger uh, and then place it in the back and then you can choose a different pattern uh, and then you could rotate it for example uh, or scale it up or shrink it uh, depending on how you want your design to be so I'll just go through my snowflake using these scripts so duplicate uh, choose a different pattern maybe something like this uh, I can bring this forward uh, and place it on top there I'll do duplicate selected ring and choose a different pattern maybe something like this I think that looks good uh, duplicate selected ring, I'll rotate it uh, and then choose one more pattern to finish it with I think something simple maybe like this one or maybe this one okay that looks pretty good scale it up just a little bit and uh, once you're happy with your design uh, just run this cleanup line script and that'll sort of collapse everything expand it uh, and give it all the same stroke thickness so we'll do cleanup lines and uh, it'll look like this, just with a one-point stroke. And uh, what you do at this point depends on what you want to do with this uh, snowflake design. Uh, so if you're using it for a coloring book, for example, you probably want to export it uh, as a JPEG or a PNG. So what we can do is scale it up uh, so it goes to all the way to the edge here. That looks pretty good. And we can choose our line thickness, for example, a two-point stroke. So I'll do two and then enter. Uh, and then we can export it just like anything you do in Illustrator. You go up here to File, uh, Save for Web, uh, and then you can choose to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. It's up to you. And then you just save it to your desktop like this. Uh, if you're using a coloring book that's like 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches, uh, I recommend making this a 2500 pixel square shape. Otherwise, the resolution might not be high enough. Uh, but of course, it depends on your project. So hopefully this is a pretty good overview about how you can use Snowflake Creator to create a unique kind of pattern. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave a comment on this video or send me an email. But uh, other than that, guys, thanks for your support and thanks for watching.